Holidays, traditions and interesting food. Those are the most interesting things in any culture in my mind. And today I want to tell you about some interesting holidays and traditions and for sure food in Russian culture. This holiday became really a symbol of uh, Russian culture in the country with years, but from the beginning on it wasn't this way. Uh, the name of the holiday is Maslenitsa and Masla in Russian means butter. So Maslenitsa is connected with butter and you will now understand why. This religious and folk holiday is also sometimes called a crapper week and there is a reason for that. We eat a lot of crapper during this time. The crappers are basically like pancakes but thinner um, and they symbolize sun. Why is it a folk holiday? That's because it was celebrated here in this area, not only in Russia but in many other Slavic countries for many many years. And that was really an important holiday for um, people because it was symbolizing the end of the winter and the beginning of spring. And you are supposed to say goodbye winter, see you next time, but it's enough of cold weather, we want spring, we want green grass everywhere and um, we want to plant our crops and collect them later. So it was really an important holiday. And when you are waiting for spring, you are waiting for sun. And crappers, they symbolize sun. They are also round, this yellow goldish color and kind of shiny as well. But why is that this holiday as a religious holiday as well? Because this is the last week before the Great Land. The Great Land will start afterwards and it will last for eight weeks till Easter, till Orthodox Easter. Uh, and during those eight weeks, religious orthodox people will fast. That means no food of animal origin, no meat, eggs, milk, uh, butter. So basically you're becoming a vegan, but only for eight weeks during the uh, fasting period. But during the crepe week, during Maslenica, all this food is still allowed. You're allowed to use eggs and milk uh, and butter. And that means that you can make crepers and eat a lot. And people kind of, they are trying to enjoy the last week of um, having those animal products on their table. Though uh, I think that traditionally the meat is already forbidden during this week. But for sure it's not only about eating, though it is a lot about eating the crappers and all the nice things, but it's also about gathering together, seeing your family and friends and spending time together. And in the past every day of this week had a special name and meaning. And it's not like this anymore. I mean, the names are for sure there, but people don't uh, know the names many times and uh, they don't really do what they're supposed to do during this day. But I think it's really interesting and I will tell you about the meaning of some of the days. It's believed that on Tuesday the young man uh, might search for a fiancé to marry after the Easter. So during the Great Lamb you're not allowed to marry or according to the church rules. Uh, but on this Tuesday it's a good time to search for a fiancé that you can marry afterwards. On Wednesdays mothers-in-law invite their sons-in-law to visit them uh, for a nice dinner with crappers. Uh, other family members are for sure also uh, invited and uh, it's a nice family time but it's the day of praising the mother-in-law how good she is, how nice she cooks and traditionally there were some songs for the sons-in-law to sing to their mother-in-law to praise them. And on Saturday is the day to meet for young wives and their sisters-in-law uh, to work on good relationship. So it's really about the bonding of the family. I think this is a really nice tradition. But the most important day of the week is Sunday. And nowadays it's mostly only Sunday is celebrated really with a lot of people gathering, to, gathering together outside on the street and having some kind of festival. On other days of the week it can be just the family meetings with uh, eating crappers. Um, and before it was really really a big thing so somewhere in the center of the city there were a lot of people um, together and the main hero of this festival is not a person it's a doll it looks a bit like scarecrow uh, and uh, the main thing it, it should look like a female um, 
person uh, because it symbolizes winter and winter in Russian uh, is female uh, that's why it's in a woman shape it has mostly um, the scarf on the head and the old dress um, and people are singing and dancing around this um, doll in the center and the culmination of the day is burning it so this really is the symbol of yeah winter go away please we want to welcome spring and there are some special songs that people sing during this uh, period of time uh, there are also traditionally a lot of games during this day there are various ones uh, for sure there is this uh, pulling of the rope when there are um, people the groups of people standing from two sides of the rope and everybody pulls on the rope and um, the the winning team is who pulled the whole other team uh, to their direction and one more game that is really traditional and famous is to uh, try to get on the top of the wooden pole because there are uh, some um, small presents that are on the top but not everybody can get there so uh, only the strongest uh, man could do that and that was always uh, the thing to do for them but nowadays for sure a man women children everybody can try to get a small present from the top and nowadays and um, in my area on the southwest of russia there are not so much snow in this time because the holiday is celebrating somewhere end of february beginning of march depending on the religious calendar this year um, we don't have a lot of snow but before and in more north areas of russia there is snow uh, so something like um, snowballs fight or ice skating or um, just um, slaying is also a, a part of this big festival and an interesting fact uh, i read that some years ago there was an article in daily mirror that painted uh, maslinza as um, really um, hooligan holiday and uh, something that is not accepted at all in the modern society uh, because of the centuries old tradition of um, uh, fight um, it's not really fight it's just uh, two uh, groups of people showing like sparring like on the judo uh, and they many times are in the traditional costumes and they are just um, showing the fight um, I think it's really difficult sometimes maybe to understand other traditions but um, I saw those um, traditional things and they for sure does not look like uh, hooligan actions one more tradition during the Sunday of the Crepe week is to ask for forgiveness. You ask for forgiveness for everything you uh, did or maybe you didn't do anything bad. But anyway, you just uh, say forgive me for everything to all your friends and relatives. And the usual answer will be God forgives and I will forgive. So that's really seems very religious. But actually those phrases you can hear from everyone, even if the people are not religious at all uh, and uh, they haven't been in church for many, many years. Um, mostly I think this phrase is just kept as a, kept as a traditional one. Uh, but there is a reason under uh, asking uh, for forgiveness in this day. That's because I told you the Great Lent will start and it will be for eight weeks. And not only uh, fasting is the uh, important thing during the Great Lent, but also not quarreling and uh, entering the land with uh, this pure soul and good feeling of that nobody is angry at you uh, and i think this is a really the most important part of the land and actually of the behaving of the person all year round try to not quarrel too much to be calmer though we all need to learn um, about it at least i think we should try doing this uh, land maybe as a reminder to focus a bit more on uh, this behavior all in all it's a great holiday and i'm looking so forward to show this holiday to my husband and to uh, celebrate it with him in germany and to make some crepers uh, i really hope i will manage to improve my technique of making crepers till then but we'll see and the next time i will tell you about one more traditional holiday in russia that can sound a bit strange according to the name but it's really really a lovely one